stand back a little bit and think about one of the biggest things that's happening here. You know what's happening in Savannah? Well, solar's important, but there's another thing happening, and that's the harbor deep. So why, what does the harbor deeping have to do with this solar discussion? And I think the important thing to think about is if you talk to people in Georgia, you'll find that virtually everybody you talk to will tell you that A, probably harbor deeping is just a really important, valuable thing that needs to be done, and it's a done deal. If you go right across the river here into South Carolina, you'll find that nobody thinks it's a good idea to deep in the harbor, and they think it's not going to happen. So how is it that people, this millions of people living just right across a river from each other, can have completely different opinions about such a big issue? And I say the reason is that the people in Georgia and the people in South Carolina listen to the same people all the time. They listen to the politicians and they listen to the business, the big business community, and they listen to the media, which is part of the business community. And in Georgia, they're united. It's a good idea to keep the harbor. In South Carolina, they're united. It's not a good idea to keep the harbor. Now, this has an awful lot to do with this presentation today. Because for years now, there's not been much of a discussion, much progress in Georgia regarding solar energy. And why? Because the same people, the politicians, the big business community, and, and the media have basically downplayed it. Other areas of the country, they've uplifted it. But here they've downplayed it. So everybody, when it comes to one issue after another, everybody in this region, or an awful lot, the majority, seem to be thinking the same way. Why do they think the same way? Because they hear the same story all the time. The Center for Sustainable Coast has been working for years and years to do something about this. And I think we've gotten better at it. I think we're getting more effective. We've gotten the word out about harbor deep, how there's a lot of big issues about harbor deep that we've not fully thought out, we haven't discussed. There hasn't been an open discussion. There's huge issues about the vocal plant that haven't been discussed. They're not a, there's huge issues about how environmental regulations are applied in coastal Georgia. Who's in charge of what? Is the state in charge? Is the local municipalities in charge? Or are they federal? Uh, EPD or EPA, are they in charge? Or who's in charge? These issues are not being discussed. And I think the center has been trying to give people an opportunity to get the facts and a different point of view, an environmentally progressive point of view, a, a, a point of view that's not based upon short-term profits, but long-term sustainability and taking care of the coast that most of us live here because we love it here. We think it's valuable. We want to preserve it and promote it. And so that brings us to this discussion. We had a, we had a, a just a week